Hi, this is Fred Neiman of Hanlon Neiman, practicing estate planning law in all 22 counties of the state of New Jersey. I want to talk to you now about the importance of how you set up ownership of your assets. Many times people think that when they prepare a will or they sign a trust that in and of itself the intended beneficiaries will receive their assets in accordance with the document. But that is not necessarily the case. Title to an asset is critical because it is the title that determines who is the owner of something of value and what happened to, uh, happens to it upon death. For example, if something is owned jointly, in other words it's owned by more than one person, then upon the death of the first joint owner, the surviving joint owner will receive title or ownership to the property as a matter of law. If you have a will that provides that a particular bank account is to go to a child or to your spouse, but yet it is jointly owned upon your death, that bank account will go to the joint account holder. Many individuals set up joint accounts for convenience, intending that the joint account holder be authorized to sign checks, make withdrawals, make deposits for convenience, but don't realize that under certain circumstances, ownership can be transferred to the joint account holder upon death. In New Jersey, there is law that says that in jointly owned assets, the person who contributed the asset or who owned the asset at the time the joint account was created is legally the owner upon death. But that is easily rebutted by the fact that there is a joint account designation. So I encourage you that when you are doing your estate planning, you be certain that you can identify who the owner of the asset is, particularly in the context of trusts. And I'm going to talk about that subject right after this video under the trust website, and I will explain why title to assets and trusts is so important.